Hi! In this video, we'll be talking about namespaces. A namespace is the collection of variable names that exist at a certain point in your code. So names do not exist throughout the entire program. They only exist within a certain namespace. Namespaces are closely related with the concept of scope. A variable's scope refers to where exactly the variable exists within a program. If a variable doesn't exist at a certain place in the code, then it is out of scope. So you can think of a namespace in your code as a space in your program that has a bunch of names in it. Some names are defined in a certain namespace and some aren't. A namespace is a lot like the context. Names can mean different things in different contexts. Just think about the sentence, that shirt is cool versus the air feels cool. In the first sentence, cool means awesome or good. In the second sentence, cool means cold or chilly. Different variable names can have completely different values inside different namespaces. So first off, we have the global namespace. This is the top level namespace that contains all of the global names in your program. So I'm gonna color the global namespace blue. So we see here that in this global namespace, we have one name, global var, and it is mapped to the value 10. If we create another variable, other var, set it equal to 20, we now have a new name in the global namespace, other var, and that name is mapped to 20. Now let's introduce a function. So now, this function has its own namespace. This my function function has three names in it, x, y, and z. So if we were to call my function of four, we would get the following values in the function's namespace. x is going to be set to x plus one. Since x is the parameter passed in, which is four, we now have x mapped to the value of five. Let's look at y and z. So y is actually equal to global var plus one. Now this is weird because global var doesn't exist in the function's namespace. So what's happening here? How is it finding it? Well, this is a very important concept in Python. If a name does not exist in the local current namespace, it actually hops up one namespace to look for it. So since it doesn't exist in the function's namespace, it'll hop up to the global namespace, find it out in the blue global namespace and grab that value. So y will be set to global var plus one, which is 10 plus one, which is 11. Same thing with z, it's other var minus one, so it'll be 20 minus one, which is 19. Now an important thing to note is it doesn't work the other direction. We can't hop down a namespace. So if we were to try to print out y out here in the global namespace, that wouldn't work because Python doesn't know where to find y. It doesn't exist in the global namespace and it's not able to hop down into the function namespace to find y. As soon as the function is done, y goes out of scope. y doesn't exist anymore. Now what happens if we were to do something like this? Inside of my function, we're going to make a new variable other var and set it equal to x. What, what's, what are these namespaces going to look like? Well, it'll actually end up looking like this. The global namespace has global var and other var, and the function namespace has a different x and a different other var. So the global other var is completely different from the other var inside of the function. Now the reason for this is because we're defining a brand new variable inside of the function. So we're creating a brand new name in the function's namespace has nothing to do with the global other var. And from now on, inside of my function, if we're to use the value other var, it's going to refer to the local one, not the global one. Outside of the function's namespace, inside the global namespace, if we were to print out other var, it's still going to print 20 because the global other var is still equal to 20. It has not been affected by the function. Now let's dive in and see some namespaces in code. So here we have one example of a function namespace. We have these names x and y, these variables exist in the global namespace. And inside here, we have a new variable x inside the functions namespace. So if we try to print out x plus y, what do you think is gonna happen? What's gonna be the value of y and what's gonna be the value of x? Well, let's give it a try. Okay, so we see that it was eight. Now the reason for this is because x is a name that does exist inside of the do something function. It has the value of three. Y does not exist inside the do something function. So it hops out a level and looks for it in the global namespace. And there it finds it, it's equal to five. So this is printing out three plus five, which is eight. Now down here, this X is referring to a completely different X than this one. This X is the global X, not the function X. So here X plus Y is actually referring to 10 plus five. And that's why we get 15. Let's look at another example. So here we have a global variable X that's equal to six. And inside our do something function, we have two new variables, x, y, and even a variable i. Now, when we call do something, it's gonna create these new variables, x and y. x is five and y is 10. It's gonna print out x. It's gonna print out in the range of four, x and y, and then it's gonna print out i. So let's see what that results in. 
So here we see that x was 5, that makes sense. And now four times we're going to see x and y. So 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10. Awesome. Now we're printing out i. Now i actually still exists outside of the for loop because it was the loop counter variable. i first was equal to 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. And so i continues to be 3 for the rest of the function. But it does not exist outside of the function. If we tried to print out i here, we see that i is not defined. It's not a name that exists out here. So let's get rid of that. Now outside of do something, we're printing out x again. Now this x is completely different from the do something x. This x is referring to the global x in the global namespace. So that's why here we see a 6. Now notice that y does not exist out here. It doesn't go the other way around. We can't hop down namespaces. We can only hop up. So we can't go from the global into the function. We try to print y, we're going to get an error. y is not defined here. There we go.